Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with your college basketball top 25 preview for Wednesday night, January the 11th. Three big head to head top 25 matchups for Wednesday night college basketball. I'm going to preview all three of those games for you and let you know where I think there's some value on Wednesday night. You know, we do this video every week heading into Saturday. Saturday is the biggest college basketball card. I'll be back on Saturday with your college basketball top 25 video here on Wager Talk TV. But I wanted to add a little bonus content because we have three big top 25 matchups this Wednesday night. Wednesday is always the second biggest card of the week. And college football is done. And boy, was it a nice finish for us. An easy blowout best bet winner Monday night on the Georgia Bulldogs. Thank you to everybody that joined us for that championship winner. 58-point blowout, never in doubt. And it was a fantastic college football season overall. What a great way to cap it off. All of you out there that kept saying, hey, Merrill, is TCU for real now? And I said, no. I think we finally know that TCU is not a top four team. Hey, guess what, though? We're going to be talking about their basketball team here in this video in just a moment. That's one of the three games we're talking about here. Three head-to-head -head top 25 matchups for Wednesday night, January the 11th. Going to get to those in just a moment. Quick reminder, college football is done, but college basketball is in full swing for the next three months. This is the time of year to be playing college hoops, and now is the time to get on board at wagertalk.com because the price has never been lower. Very special price this week and this week only for the rest of the college basketball season on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. $299 gets it done through the final four in April. Normal price is $479, so you're getting almost a $200 instant discount for the rest of the college basketball season. No promo code needed. Go there right now. Get my strong college basketball best bets every day and night for January, February, and March, all the way through the final four in April. Works up to just three and a half dollars a day for the rest of the season. This offer is good through this weekend only, but why wait? Get on board Wednesday and you get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday as well. But don't delay. Do it before Sunday. Get the rest of the season for just $2.99. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. All right, we're going to look at the three biggest matchups for this Wednesday night, January the 11th. Let's start at 7 o'clock Eastern. SEC battle between number four Alabama traveling to number 15 Arkansas. That game is on ESPN2, the Deuce, at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight on Wednesday. You know, four teams finished in the top 10 of the Sagrigan ratings in college football this year out of the SEC, and they basically have won almost all the national titles in college football, of course, over the past decade. Guess what? College basketball might be even deeper this year. This also looks like the conference to beat in college hoops. And we have numerous teams in the top 25, including both Alabama and Arkansas. Bama very well might be the best team in the country right now. A very complete team. Uh, they gave Houston, the number one ranked team, the only loss of the season. The Houston Cougars at home as an 8.5 point favorite lost outright to this Alabama squad. And what was impressive about that win by Alabama last month is that Bama likes to play fast. In fact, they play at the third fastest tempo out of 363 Division I basketball teams. Houston plays at 338. So Bama went on the road against a slowdown team and still came from behind to win that game. Now, they did trail and they made a monster comeback, but they're really good offensively, 18th best offense in the country. But their defense is what's underrated this year. Number 10 efficiency in defense this year. They're actually a better defensive team than offensively. And that's surprising because when you play fast like Alabama does, um, the offensive numbers is what catches everybody's eye. But this is a very good defensive team. But Arkansas also, in fact, Arkansas is better defensively. Arkansas is the ninth most efficient defense, but they're only 41st on offense, and that very well could be the difference in this game, especially around this Pick'em price. Uh, line on Tuesday night open around Pick'em. By the way, I'm doing this overnight on Tuesday, so it's very early into Wednesday morning. These lines will move, but the initial line was Pick'em. A little bit of early money came in in Alabama at some spots and pushed them to a one-point favorite on Tuesday night as we head into the Wednesday morning. We did see money on the over, 149.5 up to 151.5. Once again, understandable as Bama plays fast. Uh, the question is, of course, will Arkansas do like? Why Arkansas also 55th fastest tempo? But I'm going to stay off this total because, once again, two of the top 10 best defenses in the country. So although the tempo is going to be fast, the defenses are very strong, and that really makes this total a no play. But once again, there was some early sharp money on the over between Arkansas and Alabama. All right, let's stick in that 7 o'clock window here on CBS Sports Network. Number 6, Connecticut at number 25, Marquette. Marquette barely squeaking in the top 25 now with a 13-4 and straight-up record. Very strong home court, 9-1 and straight-up at home this year for the Marquette Golden Eagles. UConn, though, 
surprise season to say the least. Uh, Fifteen and two overall, but they have dropped two of their last three games. In fact, each of their past two road games have been losses as a slight road favorite, and they once again find themselves as a slight road favorite in this game on Wednesday night. Uh, line open two. It's been hovering between two two and a half on Tuesday night as we head into Wednesday morning. Total open one forty seven. Pretty much holding 147. I did see it drop to 146 and a half in one of the sharper international books. So a teeny bit of money on the under and a little bit on UConn in some spots, but not much movement on this game so far. UConn having a surprise season at 15 and 2, as I mentioned, and they're a very good team. In fact, they're the only team in the country ranked top eight in both offense and defensive efficiency. In fact, there's only two teams in the entire nation that are top 10, both offense and defensive efficiency. The Houston Cougars, who I talked about earlier, they're 10th and 2nd defensively. Connecticut, 8th best offense, 5th best defense. So they're a very balanced team. In fact, they're the most balanced team in college basketball. They've also played a very tough schedule, 26th toughest schedule so far in college hoops. Marquette's played the 32nd toughest schedule. And by the way, UConn's 8th best offense, Marquette is the 6th most efficient offense, but only 79th on defense. And that could be the difference in this game. One of the number I want to mention, though, is the luck rating. You know, we talk about this a lot. It's a Ken Palm luck rating. I don't use it a lot in handicapping because it's not a point spread rating. It's a straight-up win indicator. But once again, when the point spread is only one basket here, like this game, uh, it does come into play a bit. UConn, 173, so they're dead even on the luck factor. But Marquette, 327th unluckiest team in college basketball, yet they're still top 25. They're still 13-4. and four. So there could be some upside with Marquette in the near future. Uh, just not sure I'm ready to get in front of this UConn squad who's been really good this year. But they have dropped their last two road games. Then Marquette has quietly gone 7-1 straight up and 4-0 straight up in their last four straight up and ATS. They're one of the hottest teams right now in college basketball. All right, the final top 25 game for this Wednesday night, January the 11th, is TCU and Texas. That's number 17 ranked TCU at number 10 Texas on ESPN2. The Deuce getting another top 25 matchup at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight on Wednesday. And isn't it ironic we're talking about TCU? As I mentioned, they got blown out by Georgia in the college football final. Uh, it was a misleading win against Michigan. Um, I do my college football top 25 video every week, and of course, up until uh, last week during the uh, regular season into the bowls. And I said that TCU was not one of the four best teams in college football. By the way, they finished 12th in the Sagrigan ratings, the power rating, that is. There's different Sagrigan ratings. The predictor rating had them exactly a 13.5 point dog to Georgia. And that, of course, is where that point spread closed on Monday night. And it has them as only 12th overall in the country. Um, by the way, Alabama and Ohio State about 2.5 points behind Georgia. So they would both be about a 10, 10.5 point favorite over TCU if they were to play on a neutral field. Of course, I said Alabama was a better team. That's who deserved to get in the playoff. We saw them smoke Kansas State in the bowl game. Look, I've made my case. A lot of people jumped on me a couple weeks ago. What do you think of TCU now, Merrill? Nothing changed. Two pick sixes, and Michigan doesn't score twice from the three-yard line. They only lose by six. They'd win by 20 most of the time, and obviously TCU was exposed in the college football final. But look, I digress. Let's talk about TCU basketball now, and they are ranked 17th, but isn't it ironic if you look at the Ken Palms ranking, they're only 31st. So once again, maybe they're a little overrated in college basketball as well. Uh, another power rating that's very widely used, of course, is the Sager again. They're 19th in that. But if you look at the predictor, which is the closest to the point spread in the Sagrigan rating, they've got three different Sagrigan ratings. They're 26th. So this team is not 25 in either the Sagrigan power rating or the Ken Palm rating. You have to rank 17th. So voters love TCU for some reason this season. Um, and we'll see if they keep it going in college basketball. By the way, Texas football finished ahead of TCU this year in the final rankings in the Sagrigan and other power ratings I use. And um, they're ahead of them in basketball as well. So it's ironic that these teams are playing just a couple days after the national final in college football. And uh, these are two good teams, though. And Texas is a really good team. The Texas Longhorns, uh, right now, top 20 in both offense and defensive efficiency. Uh, they play at about the 106th fastest pace, so top third in tempo. And um, they faced a pretty weak schedule, though, just the 169th toughest schedule so far. But TCU, the 307th easiest schedule in all of college basketball. So this is a big step up for the Horned Frogs. They do play fast, 58th fastest tempo in college basketball. But this is a step up in class, and they'll be taking on a really good Texas defense. It's allowing just 41.5% shooting against teams that average 46. 
And I bring that up because TCU plays fast because they don't shoot the ball well. They have to score in transition. Texas likes to play up-tempo, but I'm not sure they're going to allow easy baskets. And TCU's a, not a good shooting team. In fact, that's evident by their three-point numbers. Just 29.5% from beyond the arc. And on the road this season, below 29% shooting. And they've been terrible from the free-throw line on the road. Just 63.5% shooting from the free-throw line. Texas hit 73% of their free-throws overall this year. So Longhorn should be able to pull away in this game, especially from the charity stripe. And that should enable them to cover... Uh, the margin here. Uh, well, let's look at the opening line on Tuesday night. It opened six and a half. It did drop to six in some spots. Other spots held six and a half. Did see some money on the total though. Opened 145 and a half and some early sharp money did come in on the under, dropping it to 142 and a half, 143, even 142 and a half in some spots. And once again, I agree with the total dropping. Uh, two very good defensive teams and an offensively challenged TCU team. So I think the under makes some sense. And that is where we saw the sharp money heading into Wednesday morning, TCU and Texas under the total. All right, those are the three official top 25 head-to-head matchups in college basketball for Wednesday night. Don't forget, I'll be back on Saturday, Friday night into Saturday with a college basketball top 25 video for this weekend. Yet another reason to hit subscribe and most importantly, hit the bell for instant alerts. If you hit subscribe and you hit the bell here on Wager Talk TV on YouTube, you will get instantly notified when I have a new video such as these college basketball top 25 videos during the week or the weekend, or most importantly, my NFL Fade the Public video playoff edition this Saturday. The playoffs are here. Playoffs! They start this weekend, and I will have Fade the Public all the way through the Super Bowl on a weekly basis going forward. Fade the Public last week went 3-1, and 75% in Week 18. It's been doing pretty well the last few weeks, and that, of course, is not a fluke. Those of you who have been with me the last few seasons know that Fade the Public works extremely well late in the season, and it's worked well in the playoffs as well over the years. So don't forget, NFL Playoff Edition, Fade the Public, Saturday here on Wager Talk TV. So hit subscribe, hit the bell for instant alerts. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, and most importantly, leave me comments below. I love my comments. I read every one and I reply back. Let me know your thoughts on these top 25 matchups, where you agree or disagree, and let me know also where you see some value on the Wednesday night college basketball card. And don't forget, college basketball is here. It's a great moneymaker on a daily basis. Less than $3.5 a day for the rest of the college basketball season when you sign up this week. Don't delay. The price is the same all the way through this weekend, and then it goes up a couple hundred. So if you're going to get on board, why not do it now and get all my strong best bets for Wednesday night and the rest of the week, the rest of the season, just $2.99. No promo code needed. It's normally $4.79. Instant slash to $2.99 when you go to my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't forget also to follow me on Twitter at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter. And I'll be back on Friday into Saturday with the College Basketball Weekend Edition. And of course, NFL Fade the Public as well, right here on Wager Talk TV. And don't forget also, download the Wager Talk TV app on your favorite mobile device. Hey, I'll be doing a guest spot on Wager Talk today at noon Eastern this Wednesday. If you missed it live, then check out the replay right here on Wager Talk TV. I'll also be hosting for the Preds this Friday and all of next week on Wager Talk Today right here on this channel. Best of luck. Enjoy the games tonight. I'll talk to you again soon right here on Wager Talk TV.